nostalgia is a powerful weapon. It zaps us back in time to where we were kids who didn't have adult responsibilities to stress us out. Some would argue that video games were better back in the day, let alone anything. Cuphead is a game that takes us back to the age where gaming was tough and rewarding. Plus, it has 30s cartoon graphics. The game is great, but we aren't here to talk about it specifically. Quite a few companies were blessed with the Cuphead license to create old-timey merchandise. So let's raise our glass, er, cup, as we dive into the world of Cuphead merchandise. We'll start off with Funko. We all know about Funko Pops, right? Cuphead has quite a few variants. The first one being a standard Cuphead Funko Pop with a cheesy grin. This one where he's spilling a Grayscale Limited Edition Chase figure, Evil Cuphead exclusive to Hot Topic, and him riding an airplane. Mugman gets two figures. First one with his winning smile and a possessed variant with Cuphead that were exclusive to GameStop. The Devil figure has him holding three cards and a pitchfork with one foot on a stack of casino chips. Kane Dice gets a regular and a chase figure as well as an E3 2018 gold variant. Chalice, legendary Chalice to be exact, was also an E3 2018 exclusive with only 1500 made. There's also a regular Chalice. Other Funko Pops include Cuppet, Calamaria, Sally Stage Play, Mr. Chimes, a GameStop exclusive, and Cagney Carnation. Funko Spring 2018 Convention Exclusive. From the vinyl collectible series are Cuphead, Mugman, and The Devil. They are in static poses. These guys are also from that series, but in a different style. At the Fall Funko Convention, these grayscale variants of the vinyl collectibles of Cuphead and Mugman were sold to 2,500 lucky people. Funko's is a serial that has themes of different franchises, and Cuphead is no stranger. The Cuphead and Mugman serial comes with a minifigure of Cuphead, whereas the Don't Deal with the Devil variant has the Devil. Funko Pop pen toppers are a thing, and we have Cuphead and Mugman. Funko also made a series of minifigures. Each comes in a box where who you get is a mystery, so collecting them all may cost you a lot. The series, as you can see, has Cuphead, Mugman, Cagney Carnation, Hilda Berg, Ribby and Croak, Slot Machine, Baroness Von Bonbon, The Jimmy the Great, Calla Maria, Captain Briny Beard, Rumor Honey Bottoms, King Dice, and The Devil. GameStop had exclusives like Cuphead Plane, Beppy the Clown, and Chauncey Chantney Side Carrot. Hot Topic exclusives include Mugman Plane, Grim Mashtick, and Warner Worman. Another blind box series by Funko were these plush keychains of Cuphead, Mugman, Cagney, Beppy, Calamaria, Bernie Beard, Honey Bottoms, and the Devil. The regular size plushes for the first wave are Cuphead, Mugman, and the Devil. The second wave has a grayscale variant of Cuphead, Cuppet, Calamaria, Keen Dice, Honey Bottoms, Bernie Beard, and Cagney Carnation. I'm holding on to hope for a third wave when we get that delicious Last Course DLC. Believe it or not, Funko made some articulated figures of Cuphead. Mugman, King Dice, and the Devil. At E3 of 2018, this chalice tea was given or sold to attendees. It comes in a decked out box with the Devil on the back and chalice on the front. At GameStop, you could buy this box with an exclusive tea. It looks like a lunchbox, and you can get either a tea that says Wallop or a tea with Cuphead and Mugman. The other box tea has the iconic poses of the brothers with their adversaries below them. The box has the devil with the two cups on either side. The text is in reference to the King Dice song, sort of. This tea is of the final boss, the devil, and it portrays just how difficult it is. I Am 8-Bit doesn't have as big of a selection, but it's a humble one. We've got some final records. The first one contains all of the original tracks from the game, which would sound heavenly on vinyl. The second one is a deluxe variant with additional tracks and records. This one is actually a CD made in Japan, featuring two discs of the Cuphead soundtrack. 
Designed by Studio MDHR, these hand-carved Mokuhanka woodblock prints and printed by Stefan Winiek... Winiecki? I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. Were sold on IM8 Bit. Only a hundred were made. There's a poster variant, but it pales in comparison to the woodblock print. With the Cuphead show's release, IM8 Bit created some merchandise for it featuring t-shirts of the cups with funny faces, hard enamel pins of the main characters, an old-timey poster, washi tape with Cuphead, Mugman, and Chalice, and socks in green, red, and purple. Expect more merch for the Cuphead show in the future with the inevitable release of Season 2. McFarland Toys made these playsets you put together like the Chaotic Casino with Cuphead and Mugman figures. Cain Dice and Devious Dice and the Devil's Throne with, well, the Devil. There's also a blind box series featuring a ton of variants of each character, as well as some bosses and NPCs. I dare not name all of them again. The Yeti was one of the early companies to bring you Cuphead merchandise. With T in the name, T-shirts were in order. These tees include Cuphead and Mugman in their standard poses and running poses with their respective collars. Two tees feature the devil with the protagonists. One is a white variant. This tee showcases what Cuphead would look like if it had an Atari version. At least the box art. King Dice, all bets are off, in black and yellow. Chalice, as well as her with Cuphead and Mugman. And a black tee with the You Died text. This poster is in reference to the scene from the game where Cuphead gambles at the Devil's Casino. There's a red and yellow version. These are stickers of some of the in-game sprites, a random choice of characters, but I dig it. These are enamel pins of Cuphead and Mugman. They look like they're running towards each other in this photo. Where would you be without the head of Cuphead? It's an actual mug you can drink from. And I think the straw is removable too. Don't quote me on that. A map of Inkwell Isle! Another perfect piece that fits right at home with the Cuphead mug. The Yeti has their own plushes of Cuphead and Mugman. Their style is rather unique compared to Funko's and I love it. It is adorable. U2's made their own Cuphead figures in their style. The first to release for Cuphead, shooting, and Mugman drinking from his... Cup? I don't want to question it. The next figure of Cuphead is of him standing on a die. The most recent one is Cuphead revealed with the devil, a plane, and a rocket as half of him. A weird style, but I love it when companies go wild with ideas like this. There are more to come, I'm very much sure there will be. In 2020, Arby's had Cuphead toys. Not many were aware of it, but for those that were, you can get paper crafts of some of the bosses, as well as disc shooters to knock them down. A fun concept, but I'd rather play the actual game or watch the Cuphead show. Takara Tomi in Japan made these Gachapon figures you can get for 300 yen each. Also in Japan, for these cute plushes are Cuphead and Mugman, likely one in UFO capture machines. A Thousand Toys Incorporated are coming out with these highly articulated figures of Cuphead and Mugman with interchangeable face plates. It looks like the US is taking those from Japan. About time! Lounge Fly is a pop culture apparel company and they made some Cuphead themed items like this beanie, cap, coin purse, and tote bag. Made by the Opuasopoly is this Cuphead board game dubbed as a fast rolling dice game. I'm not sure how you play, but it looks cool. By RP Minis is this bobbling figurine with a paperback book. It likely tells you a story about Cuphead. Well, no duh. Just Funky made this enamel pin of King Dice's face, and it's sold on Entertainment Earth. These look-see boxes contain a random assortment of Cuphead items. The first one has a Cuphead mug similar to the Yeti's, pins of the duo, a Mugman plane sticker, and a poster. The second box has the same poster, a lanyard, pins of the duo and planes, a cup, and a metal poster. The shirt has an ugly Christmas sweater design, minus the sweater portion. Miss Chalice gets two shirts with the same art in black and red. Fifth Sun Graphics made these tees of Cuphead and Mugman with the game's title and without it. A simple black tee with Cuphead. This tee reuses art from the first cutscene and recolors it to create an old-timey movie poster. 
and Cuphead with a circle behind him. Reminds me of Looney Tunes. And speaking of... That's all, folks! I hope you had fun learning about the various pieces of Cuphead merchandise. And believe me, there is more to come. The delicious last course is about to be served, but until then, snack on the leftovers. There are some, right? 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 Moku Honka Woodbrook? Why am I talking about Brooke here? Stephen, Stephen, Stephen Lee's nuts! Chalice, as well as her cup, as her cuphead. Why are you like this? And I went all the way back up on the script. Way to go, Gaming Chili Hedgehog. You are an amazing content creator. Said no one ever! Takara Tomi in Japan made these Gachapon figures you can get for 300 e Yeah. What the heck are you doing? Reminds me of a loony. Remind. That's all, folks.